Elijah Copeland, Eugene, Oregon, aka Contrabasso. How long you been working on glass, man? Uh, about ten years, a little over ten years. Strictly borrow work. Yep, strictly borrow. Yeah. What or who got you into doing borrow work? It's a very interesting story, actually. When I was uh, when I was in college, my first time, my brother Raven is a glass blower, and he was selling other people's pipes and was really interested in getting into the pipe market and stuff. And he. Uh, managed to make a big sale one week uh and then he went to the casino he uh lost all his money at the casino but his buddy loaned him 20 bucks right so he rolls up to the machine pops the machine for i don't know like 1500 bucks turns around goes straight to the fucking head shop fucking buys all the gear comes down to las cruces starts blowing glass so i'm going over there every day and like checking out the shit that he's doing but i'm in music school so I got to think about it and I'm like, I don't want to cut myself and shit. I still have to play bass. So I waited one month after he got his gear till I was out of school so that I could fucking start working. And I started working that summer and uh, I think that was the summer of 2000 when I first started. So, nice. Yep. So, uh, who, who are a few people in the industry right now that you admire and why? Actually, I admire a lot of people. There's there's a bunch of great artwork out there right now. I think that some of my favorite artists are people who are expanding the sculptural aspect of glass blowing because most people, you know, when they get into glass, they're like peanut shape. Here's a bubbler, you know. Here's your but fabulous. But like who? Who? Do you, specifically, who, who do you? you know, granted, like me myself, I don't I don't look at somebody's work and go, oh, I want to make that piece. I look at their work and I'm like, that just gave me an idea. So. Who are people that every now and then you look at their work online or you come by your homie shop and you're like, damn, well, I dude, actually, that just made me think of something. I'll tell you the honest that's truth. That's not even that. I, uh, I worked in Ham's studio. When I first came to Eugene, I was ironically in Midtown Direct and Ham and Carlin were there at the same time. I ended up running into him. I was looking at one of his pieces and, uh, and we sat there and had a little conversation. A couple months later, I'm in the shop. I was there at his shop for almost a year and a half, maybe two years, and then I broke my femur. And then I recovered from that. We went and did the IGHS show, you know, where we made the big rocking chair and whatnot. And I could honestly say, like, Ham, in the industry, he is by far one of the most provocative glass blowers. You know what I mean? He, uh, he keeps people thinking. He keeps everybody in the industry trying to move forward. You know right what now. I mean? So I could honestly say, like, as far as an inspiration, he's probably my inspiration. And he's really the the closest I've ever been to a pipe maker because I was uh, I was a marble maker, pendant maker and all that stuff for many years and didn't really claim a pipe maker until I got to Eugene, you know? So Yeah. What uh in in glass work, what's something you really love to do and you you think it's so sick when you make it, but you just don't make it a whole lot. You know, personally I like sculpting faces. And it's one of my favorite things to do is faces and female figures are like definitely two of my favorite things to do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i'm all about that so so who do you work with right now i got a shop in my own uh i just moved out of ham shop a bit ago because i got an opportunity to get into my own studio and have a you know a relatively large space for pretty cheap so i just got in my own shop so just yeah. recently like the last four or five months so now out of, out of respect and like digging their work whether you know them or not if, if you were like, I'd like to go collab with so-and-so, oh, who dude, would that, it be, man? That's a long list, man. That's a long list. Because, I mean, there's... Name a couple I'll of tell them. you what. Micah Evans, uh, Banjo, Bam, you know, dude, fucking... there's are sick. Uh, you know, Laceface, uh, you know, uh, Buck, all these cats. There's a bunch of people killing it right with now, you. man. They're fucking with you, killing man. it. So, they, those are yeah. tops on my list, too, man. Okay. So, last question. To your fans, people that love your fucking work, look in the camera and tell me what you got to say to them. Well, I appreciate your support. As a industry person who loves doing what I do when you guys appreciate what I do. So thank you. My name is Nate Hussey. Uh, I'm a lamp worker. I own Euphoria Glassworks in Grants Pass, Oregon. Uh, how long have you been doing glasswork? I bought my first torch in 2001, um, but I didn't get serious uh, as an actual everyday glass blower for real until Halloween 2008. Um, what or who got you into borrow torch work? 
Um, I had the opportunity uh, to meet Darby probably 12 or 15 years ago and um, I he was he was in with some other people in Grants Pass and, and it was like the new thing going on and, and I wasn't really able to get in on that but it definitely was the first time I was exposed to it maybe like 96 97 ish first time I ever saw any lamp working mm -hmm. and uh, basically what happened is is I fell in love with it the first time I ever saw anybody melt a piece of glass I was, that was it I had to do it and I couldn't though I, I had family and responsibilities and really job. so I spent years just uh, learning reading every book I could watching every video I could um, until I could finally you know get a torch and whatnot but really truly the one the first one who ever really turned me on to glasses is Darby and his whole crew and his brother Karsten so you said family will be open in the morning at 11 a.m. tomorrow so you'd say like Darby and Buck and that and whole crew like pretty years. much gave you like inspiration and you kind of admire that. In the very beginning, crew. in the very beginning, the glass blowers that I knew of was Darby, uh, his brother Karsten Carlisle, Clinton Roman. Um, those were the first names that were ever like, holy, what the heck is going on here? What are these guys doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, those were the mean, first, yeah. the first true artists that really inspired me to. You know, some, when I grow up, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and I'm still waiting to grow up, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, what do you like to make out of glass that, you, that you've made a few times, or you've made a bunch of times, but you really dig it and you just don't make it very much? Oh, wow, dude. Probably, um, put me on the spot, kinda. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I got a couple more for you. Slick. <laughs> uh, I really like doing. I really like doing uh, like flowery dichro type type pieces. Um, they're very much inspired by Darby's work. Uh, I, I, I like that kind of organic form, and I don't do very much of it. And I wish I did. And so I guess that's probably my short answer. Well, considering we got a lot, a lot of you know feedback through the speakers when we were first talking about. Um, who do you work slash collab with right now? Um, two days a week I work, I work at Darby shop. I do the, the stem sets for the DC line. Um, as far as collabing goes, uh, I've collabed with Lurch several times. He comes up, about to sit down with Sasha Hess. Um, I am at a point in my glass blowing career where I'm down to collab with whoever's cool, you know what I mean, and wants to so throw this, down on the So this next question of... Uh, yeah. And who would you like to collab with and why is pretty irrelevant. Are you kidding me? They're, they're, <laughs> I, I, like how much time do we got? You know what I mean? I, I could name list a few, names. Man. That's, I've, that's I've, one I have never actually... Is name the people that actually inspire you rather oh, dude, than the people that what we're the, talking about themselves. The people that truly inspire me every day, every week, week in and week out is Darby and Buck. Because that's who that I'm with all the time. You know what I mean? Buck, yeah. Um, but there's sick. all these like these Shackman guys and, and Alex Yubatuba, Adam G. Fuck, I mean, come on, dude. All these yeah. Denver guys. They're, 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 there's you know epic exactly artists mean. all over this country, coast to coast. And I'm down to collab with everybody. Come on out to Oregon or I'll okay. fly to you. Square up one more time and look <laughs> into that camera. What do we got to here? your fans that may watch this, what would you like to say to them? From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for everything. None of this would happen without you. 